hello everyone and welcome back to the channel today i have a new type of video for this channel which is steam scammer troll i've i've done some indian tech support scammer trolling before in the past but now i'm dealing with a different type of scammer here i was inspired to make this video because this youtuber named diddle who used to make scammer trolling videos but he hasn't uploaded for like eight months so i don't know if he's ever coming back with that being said let's begin so one day few weeks ago I got a random friend request on Steam to be uh to be honest I was hoping it was a scammer so I could mess around with him in the first place and uh, luckily for me that ended up being the case so I added him back to peek at his profile uh this is his profile right here I'll leave a link to his profile in the description so you guys can put a big fat minus rep on his comments right here and so you can just report him because this is obviously like a fake su sus scam thing that he's got going on here. He set up his profile to make himself look like a high level trader or something like that. But when you look into his inventory, all his skins for CSGO are pretty much worthless. And then he has these screenshots, which make him look legit or something. Like he's had these items, I guess. I don't know, that's, that's probably what he's trying to go for. So yeah, he has 300 hours on Counter-Strike. He has Dota 2 also, but I've never heard of Black Squad. So usually the scammers have CS and Dota. He's got all these comments down here. They're probably from either his alt accounts or I don't know. But yeah, he's got his information here. Might be fake information, I don't know. Usually scammers who are smarter than this just private their inventory so you can't see their garbage skins or something like that so people can figure out that they're fake. But I guess this guy had a lower IQ than normal. That day I had to go into work in like an hour when I was trying to uh, mess with this guy so I was I tried to get the ball rolling by sending the first message so the first message I sent is hey looking to trade is that why you added me he says hello sorry to disturb you can we discuss for a minute because it is very important please and I said um sure and he replies back because I accidentally reported you for doing a legal purchase instead of someone else. The admin said your account will be suspended. I'm really sorry. I tried to tell him that it was a mistake profile ID, but he will not listen to me. Sorry for this accent, by the way. I just have to do it like how Diddle does it. So I so I played along into it because it was obvious he was trying to scam me at this point. And I was like, what? The admin? And he says, I'm not joking on Steam. He said if you will not help me explain to him your account will be permanently suspended on Steam. That is why I contact you. I'm really sorry. I did not mean to report you, bro. Can you please help me explain to him? So he sends me this profile, which is supposed to be some kind of steam support guy some steam staff and he says this him have you been explained that i will report to you a new accident only please help me to clarify him i do not know what to do if you will get banned please help please add him now he is waiting so i added him um here's his profile what it looked like before it was banned i'm pretty sure that his profile got banned because i can't find anywhere in my friends list or anything so he has like some bad English down here. The fake Steam support guy messages me and says, Good day, this is Ariel Smith Gov. Your Steam support, how may I help you? And I say back, This guy said he reported me on accident and my account is going to be banned. And he replies back with, Yes, I received the report according to our coordinator's review about the legal purchase. Uh! By the way, I'm pretty sure the first guy I was messaging runs this account too, and he's just swapping back and forth to try and scam me because they talk in the same bad English. So he says, Are you aware that your account will be suspended if you cannot prove that you are innocent here? And I said, how do I even prove that? He asks me if, if I'm sure that I'm not involved with the issue at hand, and then he says, Alright, before I remove the report file on your Steam account, could you please take a screenshot of your purchase history and contact information? So, uh, I obliged. In true diddle fashion, I decided to mess around with, with some inspect element to confuse and mess around with him a little bit. So I sent this screenshot, which is obviously inspect element, and I said, Is this good? And he wasn't even phased by it, apparently, because he just ignored it and he goes straight to asking for my email and phone number that I use for the account. My friends are watching the whole thing unfold in a Discord server with me, and one of them told me to use this ridiculous email and a random phone number, which might be a real one, so I'm gonna blur it out. 
The scammer replies with, Let me scan this first, okay? And I say, okay. He asks me if I have Discord. Now this is where the fun begins. So we add each other on Discord, and he starts with, Greeting! I say hi back. Now, I don't know what to expect here. A at the time, I didn't know what to expect here, because I have never watched a scammer troll video where they want your Discord. So... He sends the instructions on what he wants me to do, which includes sharing my screen. Then my friend who was watching gave me a brilliant idea. I should just totally rickroll the guy. So when I when I went to the screen share, I called him, I went to the screen share, and he says, Could you please share your screen so I can easily guide you on what you are going to do? And it was at this point that I fired up YouTube and put on the good old never gonna give you up and turn the screen share volume to max. And he says, Excuse me? I told him, sorry, I'm listening to my music. Then he sent me a very poorly cropped screenshot of an account deletion steam page. What is that? Could you please turn off the music right now and follow my instruction? Yeah, sorry, what did you want me to do? Could you please share your screen? Then I just hung up on him because nothing else was happening and I had to leave for work. I would have messed with him for longer if I didn't have to work. So yeah, unfortunately that's where this whole thing ends. Yeah, I hope you guys found this video entertaining and informative. These games are pretty common, so if if some random guy asks you to add him and tells you that your account has made an illegal purchase or something, then it's de most definitely a scam. Thanks for watching and have a good day.